Hey guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to the Chaos Vibration. This is Damian James. And in today's episode, I want to talk about writing resumes for spirits and why I think this is a useful idea to have in your toolkit. And in case I forget, one of the meta points are if you don't know how to write a resume and you're someone who's interested in maybe advancing your career in the world, bringing financial security into your life, um, whether or not the spirit answers the ability to write a good resume or get comfortable trying and cultivating that skill will help you. And disclaimer, no, I'm not the first magician to speak about this idea. I know Jason Miller does a lot. was a little bit inspired by checking out some of his work over the summer. And also um, something certain spirits have asked of me, which is something I wish to keep private and for my own practice, but it did benefit me as a person and a magician at the same time. And I think that's really going to matter for people with what's to come in the world at the social level. So let's get to it in today's video. You guys know the drill. Question me, question everything, make this approach your own. It doesn't have to be a resume. It could be a poem, a song, but the objective is something that really gets you crystal clear on what you want and who you are. So getting back to the point, what I want to talk about today are why you might want to consider writing resumes for spirits. And the fundamental reason is I know a lot of people want agency in the world with the uncertain conditions of the economy, um, tension within a country or amongst multiple, amongst multiple countries, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But one of the things I've noticed is a lot of these books with spirits um, have people repeating things, I-O, I-A-O, I-A-O, ting tang, walla walla, bing bang, bullshit. And yeah, you'll, get, you, you'll probably get a spirit to come, but they're not getting any more crystal clear on themselves, why they want to work with the spirit. Um, this exercise may help them realize the spirit may not be right for their scenario or this current state in their lives. This could help them. Um, this could help them avoid chaos or pain or get someplace quicker. Um, the other big point for me is this deals with really knowing thyself and getting crystal clear on your strengths, your weaknesses, um, how to articulate ideas concisely, and reflecting upon your spiritual journey. I also like this because one of the things that I love about magic is, or one of the gripes I have with magic is even a lot of the chaos magic shit was just not cut the bullshit or direct enough for me. I like to once again, do magic where I can kill two birds with one shot. But what I invite people to do is look at the format format of a resume. My eyes are going to be going back and forth because I'm just going to be looking at my own for reference sake here to break it down. If you want to write a resume for a spirit, the first thing you should do is have some kind of statement of intention. This should just be a couple sentences about who you are and what you have to give for this spirit. Save what you want out of it for the cover letter, which we'll talk about later on in the video. But you know, for me, it could be something like a highly innovative chaos magician who works with modern mytho spirits or pop spirits and likes to find creative ways to work magic that help them grow as a magician and a human being in their everyday lives. That was me stroking my own ego way too much, but it's just an example. I'm not saying I actually am that person. Below that, what are your magical skills? Get clear on what you're good at. Are you good at meditation? Are you good at sigils? Are you good at affirmations? Are you good at summoning? Etc. Etc. This could also help you really assess right off the bat why a spirit may be interested in you if it seems to be the opposite. If you find yourself on the opposite end of the spectrum, the spirit summoning you instead of but instead of the other way around, and you're answering their call. The next one you want to put in is your magical history, unlike. Kind of like your job, you want to put the time you spent in the trenches with the different systems. Mine might look like law of attraction, X amount of years. What did you learn? What were you good at once again?
An example could be found creative ways to mix affirmations with chaos magic to make your own magical language or statements of intention so the conscious mind cannot recognize what you are trying to affirm to yourself. Maybe you got great at creative visualization. You, doesn't, you don't have to stick to an actual resume formula, keep it a few pages, but maybe you found that creative visualization helped you see opportunities in your real world. Maybe you work in construction, you could look around a room and get a clear vision in your mind of how this house is going to look by the time you renovated it. Something along those lines, you could put a skill there, the ability to merge the merge metaphysical thinking with everyday thinking. That could be very useful to a spirit and your and or your own life, so on and so forth. Usually on a resume, there's an education thing, right? What are some magician you studied under? What are some books you read that really made it an impactful thing in your life? Below that, do you have certifications? Are you Reiki certified? Are you life coach certified? These are all good things to throw onto a resume. I get my eyes mostly on the resume in this episode, so sorry if this comes out as a video release, but these are all good things. References, right? And then from there, what you wanna do is then I would write my cover letter, no more than a page. And that's basically your hyper sigil and or petition. What do you, um? What have you covered? What do you have to offer? It's a nice synopsis. What do you want to get out of your relationship? It should be much like on a resume. Why you want to work with this spirit, the value they can, um, the value you can bring to them, and also what you want to get out of a relationship. What strengths or weaknesses do you want to fix? Maybe where you see yourself after X amount of time with this spirit, or time even in a magical system. But um. You know, that's pretty much a wrap on this video, but that's something I really invite people to consider. And once again, um, I just think that's effective because it's easy to just copy what's written in a book. And I'm not saying you should never do that. You could still do that summoning ritual and, you know, make the resume you're offering to the spirit or walk it out to the crossroads after you set it up. That's a great way to do it too if you want to do the traditional woo-woo stuff, but for me, that's kind of the celebration or the icing on the cake or the dessert even. Thank you, everybody. That's a wrap. I'll see you on the next release, Eudaimonia.